Uh, we have been very clear to the Assad regime, but also to other players on the ground that a red line for us is we start seeing a whole bunch of chemical weapons moving around or being utilized. First of all, I didn't set a red line. The world set a red line. Me, it, it wasn't any of us, Ethel. It, it was her. Well, no, it wasn't me. No, her, 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 Ethel. Okay, Ethel. It must have been Ethel. Of course, yeah. it had to have been Ethel. That's right. It yes. It is a power play, isn't it? And, and it will make other leaders around the world look very differently at, at, at President Trump, and particularly Xi Jinping, who was sitting at dinner with him last night and apparently he got up from the table and then went to tell the nation what was happening. You've got, to, you've got to give Donald Trump some credit somewhere that if, if you're going to show another powerful nation just how powerful you are, give them a ringside seat watching television while you strike another nation. Uh, and one has to wonder, was that part of his calculation? Was the timing, having Xi Jinping there, part of the equation? Uh, one never knows. And to get to Jeremy's uh, earlier point about the uncertainty factor, what America does now know and what allies and adversaries know is that Donald Trump will act. He's made a very clear distinction between his administration and President Obama, who talked very fine words, was admired for his rhetoric, but did nothing. Mm. Donald Trump may not be able to articulate his policies in quite such an elegant fashion, but he will act. Yeah, and that obviously has implications for North Korea, which we're going to talk about later.